everyone so in this video we are going to crop and mask a roster in R and the first thing we need to do is import the appropriate libraries so we are going to use two libraries the first one is raster and the second one is the SF package okay so make sure that you are able to import them. If not, use the install packages function. And you can just do that by typing in install.packages, input the name of whatever library you're missing. I already have both, so I'm not gonna install them. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is import the raster that we're working with. I'm just going to call mine NO2. NO2 is an air pollutant and I have a roster of the air pollution over Toronto. So that's what we're gonna use. And you can import the raster by using the roster function. So raster, and then inside the brackets, just input the, na input the file name of the raster. Make sure there's quotations uh, around your file name, otherwise they won't work. So now I'm just going to click enter or run, and that's done. We also want to import the shapefile that we want to crop it to. I'm just going to crop it to an area of Ontario where my roster is sampled to. It's called the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area. So I'm, so I'm just going to call it GTHA. And the way that we import a shapefile is by using a function in the SF package, which is why we imported that package. And it's called st.read. And then in same thing inside the brackets, just input the file name. Run that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is quickly plot the raster so that you see what it looks like. And you can do that just by using the plot function. There you go. So it's missing some locations because the raster data has been uh, filtered because um, cells with a poor QA value have been filtered out for that and that's perfectly fine. Um, so that's what, that's what the raster looks like. The next thing we want to do is crop the raster. So let's go ahead and crop it. And we're going to do that by using the crop function. So when using the crop function, you have to input the name of the raster, so NO2, and then input the name of your shapefile. So for us, that's the GTHA. It may take a second, and that's it. It's really important that your roster and shapefile have the exact same um, CRS, otherwise it won't work. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so you can see that it's a bit smaller. And let's plot it with the boundary of the shapefile on top, so you can see what it looks like with and without the boundary. So let's plot it again. I'm gonna do the original NO2 and then we'll do the cropped NO2. Now in the plot function, we have to add the name of the shape file. And then we have to give it a couple of more parameters so that it knows that we don't want to plot it as a big block shape file, we want it to be transparent. So we're going to do color equals transparent. And we want to add the shape file on top of the raster. So we're going to add, add equals T, which means add it on top of the current existing plot, which is this raster over here. Okay, so you can see the raster on top. Now let's do the cropped NO2. Now 
that's the cropped one. And now we'll add the shape file again. Okay, so it is, it's, you can see that it's been cropped to the boundary. The problem is we still have a lot of extra um, raster that we don't want to see. And this is an important thing to know about cropping rasters. When you crop a raster, it's always going to be to a rectangular shape. If you want to plot it or create um, an image where you don't see anything outside the shapefile, you have to mask these values. And to do that, we use a function called mask. So let's do NO2 masked. And the function is literally just mask. You input the name of the roster that you um, that you are working with. So NO2 cropped. You could also just do the original NO2. And then you want to input the shape file that you want to mask the values to. Okay. Now let's plot it again. And there you go. If you want to add the outline of the original shape file on top, all you have to do is take the line of code that we wrote earlier. And you can see it's been perfectly cropped. And that's how you crop and mask our raster in R.